awawa de atin direct consequences de of a bari san national and parikatan national victory de ayya awas 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 this is the singlish channel hey hello friend can you kindly press the subscribe button and also the like button thank you thank you very much i am happy watching okay okay there are three coalition who can rule the country post ge15 they are barisan national perikatan national and perikatan hadapan so what will happen if BN and PN from the government. Here are some of the things which are very likely to happen, and some of them with implication. And they are all rather unsavory and indeed rather unpleasant, unpelectable. Please note that the views expressed here are those of the author, contributor, P. Gana Sengram, a former editor at online and print news publication and head of the equity research in an independent writer and analyst and do not necessarily represent the views of Malaysia Kine. P. Gana Sengram warns us about the 10 direct consequences of a BNPN victory. Number one, Zihad or his proxy will be Prime Minister. Number two, Najib will walk the street free. Number three, new complaint AG will be appointed. Charges against Zadek will be withdrawn. Number five, charges against Najib court cluster will be withdrawn. Number six, the kleptocrats will be firmly in control. Number seven, corruption will rise to new levels. Number eight, economic problems will multiply. Number nine, education will decline. Number ten, Malaysia will be ruined. The next effect will be a country driven to ruin by a corrupt, incompetent government more intent on enriching itself than providing solid avenues for the riot to develop materially and spiritually. There is only one way and one way alone that such a catastrophic event can be prevented. Do not vote for B and B and whatever you encounter them. For a vote for them is a vote for disaster. Not even Kari Zamaruddin. We need to ensure against the B and B and losers. No two ways about it. Perikatan National Chairperson Muhyiddin Yassin has shot down past Secretary General Takiyuddin Hassan's claim that the coalition is planning to form a government with BN after GE15. In a statement today, Muhyiddin said PN entered the 15th general election aiming to form a government on its own. He said this means PN wants to form a government without having to collaborate with BN or Pakatan Harapan. Muhyiddin added that as the chairperson of PN, he never gave Takiyuddin the mandate to negotiate with BN towards forming a government post-GE15. Muhyiddin's statement came only hours after Takiyuddin reportedly told the media last night that PN may work with BN to form the government. The past leader who spoke to reporters after a trauma session in Kota Baru, Kelantan, also expressed his confidence that BN would accept PN's offer. Hello! Hey, we come to the end really there. Have you pressed the button yet? Subscribe lah. Okay, thank you. Subscribe. And also, press the button like. Yeah, very good. Thank you. And then, have a nice day.